we're going to do the um, our shoulder views and so we'll do the AP shoulder internal external and then the scapula Y view. So our SID is 40 inches and our cassette is a 10 by 12 crosswise. We'll have to change that out for our scapula Y view. Our centering is we're going to find and locate our coracoid process and it's an inch below the coracoid process. So our patient is standing against the board and if you'll turn your palm out, we'll start with the external view, move it down just a little bit. We're going to open up our collimation, we always want to open it up uh, past our sternum. We'll put our marker here. are perpendicular to the board. We haven't moved the patient. Our centering is still the same, an inch below the coracoid process. So that's our internal view. All right, and now if you can relax, the patient can relax at this point. We are going to change our cassette out for our scapula Y. We're going to do the textbook view of the scapula Y. So we're going to change it to lengthwise. Okay, I'm going to show you the textbook way for the scapula Y view. So we're going to move our shield. We're going to turn the patient around. Okay, for the scapula Y view, we're going to um, do the PA instead of the AP. So you want the centering to be with your AC joint and the superior portion of your scapula, superior angle of your scapula. So you can palpate these two areas. So once you palpate these two areas, make sure that they are perpendicular to the board. So your centering needs to be two inches below the shoulder and you're shooting through your scapulohumeral joint. And so that creates the arms of the Y. And then you can put your marker in the light and collimate. Your arm hangs down, your right arm hangs down, and then your left arm will hug the board. So your coracoid and your acromion create the arms of the Y. 